morning I vetoed the omnibus tax bill, which was sent to me last night, and I did to, so for two principal reasons. First, it, I've been very clear from the beginning of this session that any increase in spending or reduction in taxes had to be offset by the same amount of additional revenues or additional tax uh, increases, and in this case, uh, this bill is would add significantly to uh, the, the current biennium's uh, imbalance and then also future uh, biennial imbalances. $145 million additional deficit for the next biennium, which is already facing a projected $1.1 billion deficit, is just not fiscally responsible. And secondly, because it's, it's really unbalanced, it provides $45.4 million of business tax relief in this biennium and only $4.1 million for homeowners. And uh, that's just not a fair balance given that everybody has been hit with higher property taxes, particularly after the Republican uh, tax leaders insisted last year that the homestead credit be eliminated. And two weeks ago, we started a process of discussing with uh, the leaders of both sides, the you know, possible tax bill, possible bonding bill, and then possible stadium bill, and they were all you know, subject, going to be subject to bipartisan uh, discussions, negotiations, and then you know, after about 10 days of effort, we got a final offer from the Republicans leadership on the tax bill, which is very close to what the, the was passed uh, and which I just vetoed and we responded back and didn't hear back thereafter and then found out that that they you know took took that as a, it wasn't a final offer it was a counter proposal and so that's where the the you know, the conversation stopped so if they if you'd like to resume that discussion and, and if we can find a responsible tax bill that does not have the kind of tails 145 million dollars into the next biennium then you know that's certainly possible but. the governor i believe just burned what may have been the last bridge to working cooperatively with legislators at the capitol and he should remember that the legislature is a co-equal branch of government we may be elected a little differently but we are expected under our constitution to have just as much say about what happens around here as he does and I think that it was terrible that he vetoed this bill because it was a bipartisan bill. We he agreed to $51 million in this biennium in relief. He agreed that we would use the UCARE money. He agreed that we would use some of the money from the Department of Revenue. And he agreed that we would use reserves as a down payment against the economic update from April. Uh, showing $106 million for projected revenue in advance of what was projected for November. He agreed to those things and he agreed to tax policy. In the process, he has taken down what I think we would all agree to be the best jobs bill that this session will probably ever see. There's simply no question about it. This is an outstanding jobs bill. This would have put many, many people to work. The governor has chosen to take that down. I tell you what, for a guy from Rochester, I just don't understand this.